Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Did you just burp? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Paige, this is my four-year-old Great Pyrenees, Mello, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what to expect when you bring home your Great Pyrenees puppy. Um, I make a lot of videos like this on my channel. I think it is important to educate people on getting these breeds. If you really like these breeds or if you're interested in getting one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so that you are updated when I do upload another video. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So when we brought home Mello, we got him at eight weeks old. Um, when they are eight weeks old, they are still puppies. And one thing you have to prepare yourself for is putting in the time to train them. They do take a lot of time to train them and um it does take a lot of time so when we brought Mello home at eight weeks we did decide to crate train him i think it is super important to crate train your dogs and you can look up other videos on how to properly crate train them but i think it is super important to crate train them it just gives them a safe place um and especially if you have to go out of the house and you want to leave them in the crate for like an hour or so to go run errands if you need to super important so when we got Mello. We were still in school. Um, my mom, she was home most of the time with Mello because um, like she would come home, take him out. She would be home by the time to get us off the bus because one habit Mello did develop when he was a puppy is he tended to jump on people. So we would really have to work on that, get him calm because they are big dogs and you do wanna make sure you train them because if not, these serious like these little problems that may seem little now as they are puppies can grow and it can expand and make it a lot worse when they are big so just make sure before you bring home your great pyrenees puppy that you do have a plan set up for like who's gonna train them um who's gonna take them out stuff like that have a schedule set up mellow he was pretty easy to potty train he wasn't super difficult and i really haven't heard any great pyrenees being super difficult to potty train in general they're normally super easy going with potty training. He was pretty potty trained. Um, he didn't have that many accidents. Very well, very well trained. So the second thing that you are going to expect when getting a Great Pyrenees is they're not very active dogs. When you bring home your Great Pyrenees puppy, don't be concerned if they're not super active or if they're not running around or playing with toys. They're not active dogs in general. Now, if your dog is being too underactive and like not like associate socializing with you at all then that brings up concern but again they're not super active puppies so they're not going to be a high like working dog they're going to be more low they're calm um he slept a lot throughout the day he did sleep a lot he wasn't very one for toys we did get him toys we had a lot of toys for him but he didn't play with toys and nothing's really changed he's not a very big toy dog the only toys he really plays with are tennis balls and rope toys, and he does like having the little bones um, to chew on. So that's just another thing to expect. They're not going to be very um, rambunctious or anything like that. Another thing to expect is, um, you know, they're, they are puppies, so he did whine throughout the night. His first night of crate training, he whined a lot. Um, he would continue to whine. It did take him a while to get the crate training down, but he loved his crate. He actually got so big. We have a really big crate, but he got too big to where he could no longer fit in the crate and there wasn't a bigger size. So we honestly had to take the crate away from him because he would just go in there and he wouldn't fit and we didn't want him to get hurt. So we had to take the crate away from him, but it was his safe place. But he did whine a lot through the first night. So that was a little like something that you have to expect when getting these dogs, even though they aren't very like active or stuff like that. They do still are puppies. They still are puppies. They're still going to whine, stuff like that. So another thing to expect when bringing home your Great Pyrenees is you have to be prepared when you bring them home. That means I would suggest like setting up your vet appointment, having all of this stuff figured out before you bring them home. We made sure to like figure a lot of things out, you know, we did a lot of research on these dogs. We did not just, it was not like a spare the moment decision. We did a lot of research on these types of dogs and we were for sure ready to get him. 
and I would never change anything like he was just the perfect dog when we got him so we did get him from a farm we met both his mom and his dad and all of his other siblings he our initial plan was actually instead of getting a boy we wanted a girl my mom wanted a girl but you know when we got there we just decided he was so cute and we decided to get the boy um, he turned out very big so that is something to expect when you do get a great Pyrenees they are gonna get super big make sure you are prepared for that so a lot of things are similar to when you get normal puppies um, it's just gonna be the same when you do have a great Pyrenees just the basics to expect you know expect them to have accidents in the house expect them to need a lot of training expect them to need attention and time when you bring home a puppy you have to be able to devote a lot of your time to them and be able to train them and figure this stuff out. So that's everything that you really need to know before bringing home, like what you need to expect when bringing home your Great Pyrenees. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time. Say bye, Mello. He's sleeping.